What's up guys, this is Bharat Nagpal for Eye Android N and we are looking at the benchmarks for the new Samsung Galaxy S5. Now if you look at specs on paper, in the front we have a 2 megapixel camera and a 5.1 inch 1920 by 1080p display which is a Super AMOLED display. We have a octa-core chipset which is based on a quad-core 1.9 GHz along with a quad-core 1.3 GHz chipset. It is an Exynos chipset and it comes with 2 GB of RAM and 16 32GB storage capacities. The device runs Android 4.4.2 out of the box along with Samsung's own TouchWiz user interface. The rear has a 16 megapixel camera which does do 4K video and then you also have a heart rate monitor that sort of works sometimes and over in the front you also have a fingerprint scanner which also sort of works sometimes. But we are here to check out the benchmarks on this device so let's give it a whirl. If we go into quadrant standard and look at the system information you can see that it's running Android 4.4.2 and we have a 8 core processor which has a maximum frequency of 1.3 GHz as it shows over here uh, but it is an Exynos chipset along with uh, the hardware information which says that it's a universal 5422 chipset. If you go further down you can see that RAM is at 2 GB out of which only about half a GB is free and we've seen it vary from half a GB to almost 1 GB. If you go into the display you can see it's a 1920 by 1080p display along with a DPI of 422 by 424 and we have a Mali T628 GPU. For sensors we have a whole array of sensors from acceleration sensor, gyroscope sensor along with uh, the magnetic sensor and at the bottom you can see an orientation sensor, HRM sensor, rotational vector sensor, so a whole array of sensors. Let's go ahead and run a full benchmark and see what the score is like. The device scores 24,672 on quadrant and that is an impressive score for the device. Let's go ahead and run and to do and see what the score is like on that. The device scores an impressive 39,029 on the total and to benchmark and you can see the detailed results over here. Maximum performance going to CPU along with 3D graphics. The multi-touch shows that this device does have a 10 point multi-touch interface which is good and finally we're going to run Nina Mark to check out the FPS and uh, we get an impressive 59.7 on Nina Mark 2. So there you go guys, this was a quick look at the hardware and benchmarks of uh, the new Samsung Galaxy S5. Now this device does have a USB 3 port at the bottom but inside the box you only get a USB 2 to micro USB cable so that's a disappointment for us. Despite the fact that it scores pretty impressively on uh, all these benchmarks, we sort of wished for uh, the 801 chipset for the Indian market. Stay tuned for our full review of the Samsung Galaxy S5. Find out all details on iGAN.in and catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and give this video a like, a thumbs up and a share if you like the video. This has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.